The concept title for this residency, the Blue Bowl, was quite interesting word as a whole in itself. So I wanted to explore the visual aspect primarily in two mediums, fabric and metal. I sourced the indigo fabric and a brass tumbler from local stores here in Mumbai and I cut the fabric into strips, braided them into long ropes giving an impression of whips but that coming out from the tumbler. The brass for me relates as a poor man's gold and the exploitation of harvesting indigo from them during the colonial times resulted in one of the very first non-violent revolution according to historian Jagdish Chandra Bagal. Uh, that moment is what I'm trying to freeze into this sculptural installation. I love working with the pigments and the natural material over buying ready-made tubes in the market. Process is vital for me as I am keen on learning how the pigments are made. The varied steps involved in my paintings, white washes are laid using milk powder and lime. I prefer matte natural soothing white over the plastic feel of gesso available in the market. I sourced an image from Archie's Indigo Beaters of Oscar Millet. He's a French photographer and I translated into my painting. I incorporated a bit of that history in my work along with present realities, exploring multiple narratives. I also explored indigo using the process of batik taking image from my earlier works. It's resulting in interesting palette gives a possibility of new direction to my art practice. You can watch all the videos on YouTube, Google, but I find the best way of discovering is working with the materials yourself. That's must. Connection to nature is essential as that instills positive energy in me which is reflected in my artwork. The part I enjoyed was making the precise ratio of pigments, Arabic gum, 
soda ash the time when the pale transparent yellow of the dyed cloth transform into blue gold due to oxygen residency i focused on the natural dyeing techniques stitch work cloth pasting and painting on the final layer the base is a sal from the luxury brand on which i worked with a particular style of stitch reminiscent of my grandmother's stitch work i referred to socio political scenario related to indigo using biological forms of cells in the intricate stitches history of indigo was important economically and it has a relation with the slavery especially in the bengal indigo revolt so i took the indigo color as my subject which is associated with slavery and subsequently luxury